Kidney stones are, are stones that form in the urinary tract. The kidneys filter the blood and make urine, and the urine goes into what we call the collecting system of the kidney. And that's where stones can form. And they can be made from various different things. The chapter on kidney stones is about this thick, so uh, to talk about why you form stones is a, is a long discussion. But if you do form stones, there's lots of options uh, for treatment. We can do use a laser to break up the stone using a ureteroscope, which is a little telescope that goes up the ureter and into the kidney. We can also perform extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, which is basically using ultrasonic waves to come in and break the stone, much like a ship in the middle of a hurricane. Um, we can also do percutaneous nephrolithotomy, which is through the back, and we go directly into the kidney, and we can actually break the stone and remove it that way. And um, we also perform laparoscopic pyelolithotomies, which is where we actually go into the abdomen, we go into the kidney, we cut the kidney open and pull the stone out that way, and then repair the kidney. So we have lots of different options for treatments for kidney stones, as well as observation and prevention of kidney stones. So if you have kidney stones, I can make sure that we can do a workup, figure out why you're forming those stones, see if we can make any changes in your diet or in your lifestyle that might prevent that. And also we can look at your urine and see if there's a metabolic reason why you're forming stones and maybe give you a medication that helps you, pre that prevents you from forming further stones. Most of the surgeries we do, we can make sure you are stone free. That's something you wanna make sure that you get a good stone free rate with each procedure. Some procedures, the stone free rate is a little less than other procedures. So we try to make sure we pick the right one for you. Um, if you are stone free after the procedure, depending on if you're a first time stone former, so first time stone formers, 50% of the time it's just dehydration. You aren't drinking enough water. If you had formed stones before and you increased your water intake yet you're still forming stones, um, then we look at the reasons why and we try to make sure that you don't form any more. If you do form more, then you may need more procedures in order to have them removed.